At the Salk Institute in La Jolla, scientist Paloma Martinez Redondo has been studying cartilage. Which act as a cushion between the two bones. So when we have to move any joint, in this case the knee, we will have a cushion here and here that would prevent the erosion between the two bones. Osteoarthritis causes cartilage in joints to thin out, which results in painful bone-on-bone -bone contact. As we age, it's harder for our bodies to repair this cartilage. So Martinez Redondo and her partner investigated whether two proteins naturally produced in the body could help. We had previous studies that were showing that these two molecules, these two proteins could help us at some point not only to prevent the pathology, but also to improve it, to improve the, rep the repair. But it was also lucky because we tried to put them together and they work better together. Salk scientists tested the combined protein therapy in rats and in human cartilage cells. This would be the knee treated with osteoarthritis. So these have arthritis and you can see how the cartilage is not there in most of the joint or it's broken. When we put our two proteins, we get the cartilage back. So in this case, we don't have anything broken, and we have the red color again in, within the knee joint, which means that this treatment not only avoided the, the uh, disease to go farther, but also improved the repair of the disease. Martinez Redondo says currently patients can only get access to therapies that make you feel better or they require invasive surgeries. And hopefully if your arthritis is not really bad, you will have your layer of cartilage again for a limited amount of time because it's going to happen the same. She says this type of therapy aims to reverse osteoarthritis naturally. Now these scientists plan on taking the results to human clinical trial. Shalina Chalani, KPBS News.